So we have uh, Zara's numbers hit today at 8.6. What does that mean? I'll let you hear for yourself. Hello? Hey, this is Laura over at Governor's Pet Off Road. How you doing, Laura? Hey, your baby's at an 8.1. Go ahead and start driving to the stud and start breeding tomorrow through Friday. Ideal days would be tomorrow and Thursday. Okay, thank you so much. So a female ovulates roughly in uh, 72 hours, which means cervix open, see if we can get through there, impregnate the uh, the eggs, the eggs, and then that the, dog, the semen scratching the sides of the it's, it's collected a lot of data and information, and really you only need about one cc of semen. Now stay tuned, of course, because we'll be documenting our traveling to Kansas City and um, doing our breeding. I believe in the old school ways a lot of times. I'm a little iffy on the shipping of semen, but even after I saw the semen work the first time, I go, wow, it should have been fine. Now, when it showed up to us, our doctors analyzed it originally, and this was on Maya and Hot Shot's first breeding. It was like 60% motility. Uh, morphology was pretty decent, but the doctor said, I'd like two. If we had done two back to back, meaning like if they had sent me some the next day, Doctors would have charged us about a thousand dollars. It's already two fifty to get the semen plus a thirty-five hundred dollars stud fee. For one, this is Tifa here with Fibbly TV. So don't forget to uh, subscribe <clears throat> as I walk you through our journey and again the five years of work we have to do to get these females to get our program kind of rocking and rolling, build the American Terrier, and um, learn as much as we can and teach to the best of our ability. So. You saw, hopefully got the video with my guy Ruben. Ruben, my man, and he broke down all the vitamins the dog needs. So what am I going to do? I'm going to write up her diet, what she needs, the best sources of A, D, E, and K of vitamins to give her. As far as food is concerned. And then, we're probably going to do a TCI. I don't like TCIs personally. <laughs> um, because we haven't, I mean, we haven't had success there. I've done it, but it didn't, it wasn't successful. Let me see. Yeah, because they did an AI with with Hot Shot when we went to Mizzou. And we did a TCI once. Nobody got pregnant. Here's the thing. Why these numbers matter. If we do a surgical and the female's at an 8, that's a no-go. The eggs have to mature too. That's the other thing. So the question that we'll answer over the next few days, and you want to come back and watch the next episode, is how long does it take for semen to mature while in the female? And then how long does it take an egg to mature? Because it drops, then it's gotta go through this process and then it's ready to be fertilized in a sense. <laughs> so this is why the TCI, the AI, and the surgical matter. We talked about once you get to 25 and above, you need to start tapping into surgical because that window of opportunity is closing and there's very few eggs that are dropping even at that point. The AI, normally done between 10 and 15, well guess what, she's at eight right now. So eight tomorrow, Zara did something that freaked me out last time, if I'm being honest. She spiked. She went to the 20s the next day. Like we showed up, they did, I said, hey, you mind running another progesterone test? She's like 21. And we only did <clears throat> one AI. So she's been proven to be successful, of course, and uh, do what we need her to do. We're going to shoot the club up twice this time. <laughs> And, and see what happens because even Justice and the doctors say, hey, you guys want to do two back to back. Well, the challenge is even when we get there, it's an hour and 15 minutes away from where Justice lives. But there's some stuff along the way where we'll get some shooting done and have a good time. I'm taking Bam Bam, so, <laughs> you know, he'll get to have a blast. You chewed up your bone already? It's good, you chewed up everything else. Um, and I'll be teaching you as much as I can and working with the doctors and, and talking a little bougie bull. Bougie bull, a.k.a. the guy who has hot shot, has a great story. I'll preface it by saying this. He basically got a bossy dog because he commented on all their pages for 30 days straight. Now, it's a much more in-depth story, and they flew him out. Hey, if you do this for 30 days, we'll fly you out, and you get to see our, all of our facilities. You go, oh, man, that's interesting. That's interesting. It's, and it's a good little competition that... Uh, they created because comments run up the check per se, aka social media. Neither here nor there. He's a he's a he's a fan and a supporter of what Bossy does. I like what she's built over there. We try to minimize the the, the bossy, if you would, the bossy look. We're creating an AMT, which is a very different look. But I like hot shot. I like hot shot. And I like what his girls do. His girls are very successful. 
and I'm excited about keeping the female from this particular litter, which is one of my goals. So, today, uh, let's measure Zara's head. We did that. Zara, come here. <laughs> now, as you see, this is the baby girl, so she listens. Let's get a little, a little measurement on this joker here. This is a whatchamacallit thing. So I told you, her and my Naka, <laughs> that's a 21 inch head. It's about 21 inches. And it's all based on how it looks. You see how she's looking? So you see where Maya's eye set is, it's from here to here. <laughs> it's from here to here. Her head just looks like a forehead like, like a human. Zara got some more, has more of the terrier look, which I prefer because again, she's got good breathing. Good breathing, she breathes well. And we focus on performance. So you never see me like, man, I got this big old head dog. My buddy one time, he had a dog. I think they named him T-Rex when he was a puppy. <laughs> His eyes were like over here. Can you imagine like that TikTok filter going around? Look like, I mean, it was like this. But that joker had an honest 28 inch head. I mean, I'm talking, that head was so big, he's like, I think he's an alien. I was like, bro, that Joker's head's gonna be huge. I'm talking eyes was by his ears almost, it was so big, and then his head grew. <laughs> that Joker's head was like this here, man. Hey, relax, man. You can go back outside. <laughs> so, at any who, progesterone tests are important. We do two to three. Unfortunately, they're gonna require me to do another one. We were gonna go to the, the to Mizzou. Mizzou was gonna rack, run me up a check. They're like cytology exam. On average, cytology is worth from 99 to 100 plus dollars. Uh, my bad, uh, 99 to 200 dollars to do a cytology exam. I'll talk to talk to you about that more in the future because I I believe you need to get one done. Two to three weeks, four weeks tops, a month after your females uh, do their pregnancy. You need to do a cytology exam. Just keep make sure the females are running, you know, smooth. That engine's still running. Another thing. I got to do another progesterone test. They'll want, and he, the doctor was like, it's an IDEX C something machine. Uh, did I record that? Did I record that one? Because he was like, and I'm like this. Oh, oh boy, it kind of being a little difficult. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's such or how it's been calibrated. And I'm like, look, my man. So far, so good. Well, they could be two points off, so it might be two days. So we got to run a test here, too. I said, I get you, got your process. Whatever it is, I gotta pay for it. So that's the bottom line. And because I'm good friends with Justice, and uh, you know we do good business, I'm gonna pay him out of the litter, the stud fee. So I ain't gotta go and turn around and give him 35 right up front. Sometimes these things work. I wouldn't tell you or advise you to ever do that unless you really deal with the person. So if I have the paperwork or the power of the paperwork, then I'd be like, yeah, I'll run because I'll keep all the papers until then. And we got another video that I'm gonna teach you about running your paperwork and how you protect your, your brand, your business, and your pups and your dogs. So at any who, progesterone test, get those done. Two, feed your female properly. Three, find you a solid stud or make your boys like I've said before. And number four, always just take care of the dogs.